Hello, God bless from Up Ministries. It's me, Dick Jr. I am coming to you today to read you 1 Timothy chapter 5. Um, I prayed and I asked God before I started this video. And I suggest that any time that you place yourself in God's word that you pray also. And that you ask God for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding specifically. He's going to give them to you. I say that because he does not want us to be in the dark concerning his word or concerning his perfect plan of salvation, which is contained in this book. Now, you may have to read more and study more, but he's going to give you what you seek. Okay? And that's, that's, that's a promise. So, let's go ahead and get started here in 1 Timothy chapter 5. Do not sharply rebuke an older man, but rather appeal to him as a father to the younger men of, as brothers. To the older women as mothers, and the younger women as sisters in all purity. Honor widows who are widows indeed. But if any widow has children or grandchildren, they must first learn to practice piety in regard to their own family and to make some return to their parents. For this is acceptable in the sight of God. Now she who is a widow indeed and who has been left alone has fixed her hope on God and continues in entreaties and prayers night and day. But she who gives herself to wanton pleasure is dead even while she lives. Prescribe, prescribe these things as well so that they may be above reproach. But if anyone does not provide for his own and especially for those of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. <clears throat> A widow is to be put on the list only if she has not left if she is not less than sixty years old, having been the wife of one man, having a reputation for good works, and if she has brought up children, if she has shown hospitality to strangers, if she has washed the saints' feet, if she has assisted those in distress, and if she has devoted herself to every good work, but refused to put younger widows on the list. For when they feel sensual desires in disregard of Christ, they want to get married, thus incurring condemnation because they set aside their previous pledge. At the same time, they also learn to be idle as they go, from, go around from house to house, and not merely idle, but also gossips and busybodies, talking about things not proper to mention. Therefore, I want younger widows to get married, bear children, keep house and give the enemy no occasion for reproach for some have already turned aside to follow satan if any woman who is a believer has dependent windows she must assist them and the church must not get be burdened so that it may assist those who are widows indeed the elders who rule well are to be considered worthy of double honor especially those who work hard at preaching and teaching for the scripture says, You shall not muzzle the ox while he is threshing, and the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not receive an accusation against an elder except on the basis of two or three witnesses. Those who continue in sin rebuke in the presence of all so that the rest also will be fearful of sinning. I solemnly charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus and his chosen angels to maintain these principles without bias, doing nothing in a spirit of partiality. Do not lay hands upon anyone too hastily and thereby share responsibility for the sins of others. Keep yourself free from sin. I circled that. I don't have to keep anyone else free from sin. I have to keep myself free from sin, especially. You see what I mean? Yeah. No longer drink water exclusively, but use a little wine for the sake of your stomach and frequent ailments. The sins of some men are quite evident, going before them to judgment. For others their sins, sh sins follow after. Likewise also deeds that are good are quite evident, and those which are otherwise cannot be concealed. So that is it for 1 Timothy chapter 5. Thanks for listening and God bless.